Hello and welcome. In this video, we're going to dive into one of the most interesting and useful components in digital electronics, the EXOR gate, also known as the exclusive OR gate. We'll cover its symbol, how it works, and even see how it can be built using other basic logic gates. Let's start with the basics. On the screen, you can see the title, EXOR, which stands for exclusive OR gate. First, let's look at the EXOR gate symbol. It's very similar to the standard or gate symbol, but with an extra curved line on the input side. This extra line signifies its exclusive nature. It has two input lines, labeled A and B, and one output line, labeled Y. The logical expression for the EXOR gate is written as Y equals A, followed by a plus sign inside a circle, and then B. This special symbol, the encircled plus sign, represents the exclusive OR operation. Now, let's look at some key properties of the EXOR gate. First, the EXOR gate is often called an odd one detector. This is a very important characteristic. It means the output will be high, or a logical one, only when there is an odd number of ones at its inputs. We'll see exactly why when we look at the truth table in a moment. Second, the EXOR gate is frequently used as a comparator. Specifically, it acts as an inequality detector. It can compare two bits and tell us if they are different. If the inputs are not the same, the output is high. If they are the same, the output is low. Finally, as a point of clarification, the EXOR gate is most commonly referred to by its shorter name, the XOR gate. So, EXOR and XOR mean the exact same thing. To fully understand how the XOR gate behaves, we need to look at its truth table. A truth table shows us the output for every possible combination of inputs. The table has two columns for the inputs, A and B, and one column for the output, Y, which is a ZOR B. Let's go through it row by row. In the first row, both input A and input B are zero. Since the inputs are the same, the output Y is zero. In the second row, input A is zero and input B is one. Here, the inputs are different. They are exclusive. Therefore, the output Y is 1. In the third row, input A is 1 and input B is 0. Just like the previous case, the inputs are different, so the output Y is 1. In the final row, both input A and input B are 1. Since the inputs are the same again, the output Y goes back to 0. So, to summarize the truth table, the XOR gate's output is 1 only when its inputs are different from each other. If the inputs are the same, either both 0 or both 1, the output is 0. This behavior is what makes it an exclusive OR gate. Now for a more advanced concept. Did you know that we can build an XOR gate using a combination of other, more fundamental gates? Let's look at the diagram for the EXOR gate equivalent symbol. This circuit shows how to create the XOR function using one OR gate, one NAND gate, and one IN gate. Let's trace the signals through the circuit to see how it works. The inputs A and B are fed into two separate gates simultaneously. First, A and B go into an OR gate. The output of an OR gate is 1 if either A or B or both are 1. So, the output here is a plus B, representing A or B. At the same time, inputs A and B also go into a NAND gate. A NAND gate is an IN gate followed by a NOT gate. Its output is zero only when both A and B are one. The output here is the negation of A and B, which is written as a dot B with a bar over it. Now, we have two intermediate results, the output from the OR gate, which is a plus B, and the output from the NAND gate, which is the negation of a dot B. These two results become the inputs for our final gate, which is an IN gate. The IN gate will only produce a high output of one if both of its inputs are one. So, the final output of the entire circuit, y, is equal to, a plus b, and, the negation of a dot b. This entire expression is logically equivalent to a ZOR b. Let's quickly test it. If a is 0 and b is 1, the OR gate gives 0 plus 1, which is 1. The NAND gate gives the negation of 0 and 1, which is the negation of 0, which is 1. The final AND gate gets two ones as input, so its output is 1. This matches our truth table. Now let's try A is 1 and B is 1. The OR gate gives 1 plus 1, which is 1. 
The NAND gate gives the negation of 1 and 1, which is the negation of 1, which is 0. The final AND gate gets a 1 and a 0 as input, so its output is 0. This also matches our truth table. This circuit perfectly demonstrates how the complex and useful function of an XOR gate can be constructed from simpler building blocks of digital logic. So, to recap, the exclusive OR or XOR gate is a fundamental digital logic gate. Its key feature is that it outputs a 1 only when its inputs are different. We've seen its unique symbol, analyzed its truth table, and understood how it can be built using a combination of OR, NAND, and AND gates. Its ability to detect differences makes it incredibly valuable in circuits for arithmetic, error detection, and data comparison.